the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Oh, man, I had a thought. I lost it. I know he kept you going. I, I saw, I know you was trying to get started. And the other kept going and take it somewhere. <laughs> but that's cool, though. <laughs> so while you're thinking, what is it next week? Because we got to wrap up anyway. But we already passed uh, 1138. So I'm trying to keep it going. Let me examination. Can we do that? I thought you were trying to head toward the, the what we need to do for the uh, discipleship, right? Yeah, yeah, and and I think that in order to be effective, self determination. Anyway. Yeah, self determination. Where am I? Is it, is it pertains to uh, Christ in my interaction with his 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 his, 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 his people, his, his his body, or bringing people into his body? Interesting. Where are the hindrances that I'm I'm experiencing? <laughs> What are the, the pluses and the minuses? That might be a disclosure that may be too intimate for, I mean, a public disclosure, but it's always good to find out or to at least examine where I am personally because it's going to impact how I interact with the people that I come in contact with. In my own heart, we're disclosing me whether or not I'm an effective minister in this area sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because there's some people you just don't feel comfortable dealing with. Yeah. Some people you have little things against. You. <laughs> and those are not people that it's good to work minister to on things separate led by the Spirit of God, period. Interesting. If, if you're a bigot, if you have, uh, you know, issues against blacks or homosexuals or whatever it is, or maybe people with big noses, you know, you never know. Yeah. Whatever your particular issue is, it's going to affect your witness to that person. It does. Because you're not, you're not focusing on your mission with the soul on all, on all the ground. How much flesh am I really bring into this interaction? If I bring a lot of flesh into it, then it's going to be, it's going to be or attenuate Christ. Well, we want to be able to pour out undiluted yes, the Spirit sir. of God. And, you know, we don't want to step on, we don't want to cut it. So what factors to me or qualities of me cause me to diminish in my effectiveness in the ministry of God? So what text are you talking about? Uh, the moat in your own eye. Hear me? The, 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 the beam that is in your eye before we consider the moat in our brothers. First, get the beam out of your eye, and then you can see clearly to help the brothers get the moat out of here. So, so would that, would not that uh, Good Samaritan play that role? What verse, what verse is that? Uh, let me see. Oh, the moat in the brother's eye? Let, yeah. I get it. Hold it. Just one second. I'll bring it up. Where is it written to move the boat from that on out, the plane from that on out? Uh, I got a Matthew 7. I got it in uh, Matthew chapter 7 as well as Luke chapter 6. Okay, Matthew 7. You want to bring it up? I can. You want you want Luke or you want uh, Luke is, is more detailed. So yeah, go. that's good. If Luke is more detailed, that'll work. But either one's fine initially. Yeah, here it is right here. Judge another, basically. Yeah. 41 is this. Oh. Yeah, I could basically look at it and say, verse 39 said, can the blind lead the blind? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that's good stuff right here. Judge not, at least you be judged. Condemn not, at least ye shall not be condemned. And ye shall not be condemned. Forgive. Yeah. And ye, yeah. We you know. shall be given to we turned that to money. We turned that to money. Yeah, I know, right? We turned everything to money. We turned that to money. <laughs> <laughs> the devil's going to the Holy Ghost. Woo! <laughs> yeah, from 36 to 42. He, he, he's tell, he put a lot of stuff in there, there. <laughs> Man, why behold thou the moat that is in thy brother's eye, but perceive not the beam that is in thine own eye? 
That's a heavy one. It's a, it's a heavy one. Yeah, yeah. Either how can thou say to that brother, brother, let me pull out the moat in thy eye when thou thyself beholdest not the beam <laughs> that's in thy own eye. Thou hypocrite. I mean, that's probably something people need to hear anyway. <laughs> Didn't we already do something with this verse? We ain't never I don't think we had. I don't think we've done this one yet. Not in this study, anyway. Uh, yes, we did. When? Uh, you talking about we did we did the fruit? Well, we read that whole chapter. Is what you're saying? No, I don't know. Where did we got the tree? Is nobody? We did, we did these verses. Um, I don't remember. I, I might have missed them. I, I, was, I don't remember this. We might have read that whole chapter. Let me see what the beginning of this chapter talking about. <laughs> Listen, look at my note. We did these verses. We did this. We did this verse. We did it in our chapter. Is the beginning of it. Let we read the whole chapter. Yeah, beginning because it was like a. It was teaching, right? This is what he was teaching. We were looking at. We yeah. were looking at the Sabbath day when no, it went. We were looking at fruit. You were fruit, right? And we read all the way to the to that to that section, but we didn't dwell on that. We, we, didn't, my, we was trying to get down. Cause yeah, you I got what we talked about, so I can tell you what we talked about. Let's see. Yeah, we spent a whole we spent a whole bunch of time on this one, on this day. Yeah, yeah, because you were talking about the beginning of it. This really was an education of this of a a bitch, Elder, that was the one we were talking about. Uh, he's teaching them of uh, becoming a, a disciple. He was talking about a lot of stuff about ministry. I lost it. Oh, there it is. I see. I lost the scripture. You remember that? We we mm -hmm. went. I don't. I don't remember it. Well, like I said, because we, we, I know, but we, we went all the way down the tree is known by fruit. That's what the, that's what we was focusing on. Remember that we read all okay, the, but the ones that you were focused. Yeah, okay, that was the focus. Right. We're looking at the one before that we talked about the beam in the eyes going to the mold out our brother. Well, we did read the whole chapter. Though. Yeah. What? What? When Bishop asked me, they said, "Where's the scripture that represents what I was talking about?" You know, that that was that was that, that scripture there that talks about the beam in the eye. In the morning, our brothers. That 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 was where, I, that's where the scripture is. Right. What that 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 approach anyway. Yeah, in other words, we didn't dwell like what we just did on the parable. This I'm saying is what we did in that parable we just read. The what we were working on, we didn't focus, we didn't narrow down, to drill down the, right. the meaning. Yeah, like we normally, like with the CIT. Right. When we're looking at that. We did a CIT on this one. I, I like it. Would be nice to know what comes out of that. But that whole chapter is talk about them coming into the ministry. Uh, yeah. They, they don't get puffed up. And then yep. all that stuff was in there uh, that we went through. Man, I keep trying to change the screen, but you got me. <laughs> Trying to change my screen. Yeah, I, I'm I, trying to make it scroll, right? <laughs> I just realized this ain't on my computer. So <laughs> but yeah, that that was that that's a that's not a bad area to look at. Because I mean, you can't if you're gonna cut some meat, you gotta be a sharp knife. Yeah. And if you do out, it's kind of like it's difficult to, to be effective at bringing people into. You know, I have known a lot of people go to the street that really shouldn't win. And I know he encouraged the fans he lives them all the time. But no, we didn't. There was a group of us that did. There was a group of us that did. But yeah. other people wouldn't come and we got mad with them. Yeah. Uh, and we shouldn't have got mad with them because they knew they weren't ready. Because they had some things happen. They couldn't witness. And one person eventually got around to uh, confessing that they did not feel comfortable with the people that we were witnessing to. They were not accustomed to that. Yeah. And the reason they didn't come is because. I mean, they were afraid of the folks. Yeah. 
and then they admitted it, and they were right. <laughs> them being afraid of folk was a good reason for them to stay where they was at. Well, well that's what we run people off on the church, right? That's yeah, that's and we did. A lot of them did. We called the cops on some people, man. You people came to visit the church, and then we called the police on them. And we the police run. came and got, took them away, or tried to take them away. So, so Vincent, I'm talking about we can do a CIT. We never did a CIT. We just started doing CIT. The first one was. Yeah, that'd be, I think that's a good one. We start right there. From six, from 36 to 42. Because that's what judge run people away from the church as it is. And 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 you forget it, one of the uh, one of the brothers uh, bishop in the in the ministry on uh, the panel, you know. The person, I'm, I'm gonna cut this out. So I won't pinpoint that, but the person uh, committed adultery. You know? And you really, I think you said last week, Bishop, was that there's people who have, uh, who, who forgive him more, loves him much more. You remember? Sure. Yeah. Well, yes. And 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 therefore they both be more humble and toward other people. Uh, well, well, they, they have they have a deeper understanding of their real need. Yes, sir. Yeah. And we're trying to get people to see that. And I think the, the discipleship is showing people you do have a need to be made whole. You still got some illness or sickness, and we're trying to work on that. But you're going to do that text. You're going to have to, the right place to start is verse 39. You're you going to do a CIT on it? You'll, you'll think you think you to do that text, the right place to start. When you do a CIT, so you got to start in the right place now. Uh huh. You can't you can't pull a text out of this context and do a CIT on it. You'll miss something. Mm -hmm. So instead of verse 39, they just take the parable to them. Yeah, that is. He says parable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a parable. Yeah. Now, but now that he doesn't, he doesn't break until it looks like it's like the only place you can really break is verse forty-six. 39 to 46. You can bring it back up, Pastor Tim. Yeah. Well, you, you might could do 43, but see, his, his, he's continuing that same line of thought with the moat. With the tree, with the fruit, with the good man. So, so it like it's still thirty-nine to forty-five. Oh, would he would he take the whole rock, the foundation? So and so back, back go back up to the toward uh, thirty-nine. Let's see what he called it. I don't. I'm not particularly. Uh, I would begin as a parable in doing. Said, can the blind lead the blind? So they not both fall into the ditch. The disciple is not above his master, but each one that is a perfect shall be as his master. And why behold it thou the most? That's when we go into the most down here. Yeah, because they, they, they sound like the other one is a new parable when you go into the fruit. A tree is known by its fruit, wouldn't it? Well, I think, I, I think, uh, begins that statement with the word. Oh. And the word yeah, so that's oh. like it's a continuation. Yeah, links it back to what he said before. Hmm. So everywhere you see those falls, it's like because. Yeah, that's kind of funny right there too, because there are four, even a person that's discipling someone else should evidence who they're discipling them to. Right. So if 
I am a disciple of Christ, it should be evidenced in my working with another person that I am a disciple of Christ. It's almost like black belts teach people to become black belts. They got to demonstrate their skill prior to being qualified to teach somebody else's skill. Yeah, and it ends with 46 because he's saying is, you calling me Lord. Ooh, Lord, hallelujah, you y'all. Do what I tell you today. Man, if we do this thing right, we're going to revolutionize the church. <laughs> Ain't no lie, man. Can you imagine each one of us discipling people of Christ as disciples of Christ? What? His, when they look at us, they say, that's a disciple of Jesus right there. Here's, here's what I'm trying to say is that if you want to get a CIT that gets the meat of what he's saying, then you're going to need all of the verses that pertain to what he's saying to be able to get it. And that word for seems to imply to me that he, he's, he, he continues the same line of thought to give you a different aspect of that same thought. So you're going, you're going to have to at least, at least go through verse 45. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, I, I think, I think I can see what six is because it's saying is you, you, you know, you calling me Lord or you, you, you represent me, but you ain't doing what I say. Back on a personal person, note. And that's what the person looking at the beam coming out of your eye. That, that, and, and, and you, you, oh, praise God. You know what? You are not being the person. You're not not, not necessarily, you're well, actually going to be, I mean, an indication of who you are. Yeah. So is that love, joy, peace, long suffering, patience, be this generous, faith, temperance, all, is that evident in your character? Is okay. forgiveness, unforgiveness, and is that evidence of your character? So when we say become disciples or be disciples of Christ, that's a transformation in being, which is indicated by behavior. Right, right. right. But it, we literally turn to something else. And, and, and when he said, like patience, said, then you get trials and tribulations. I know that's cliche-ish, and I, but I, I think it's some truth in it that the way you respond to those situations indicate who you are. Right. If you have patience toward, the, you've been called to go sow, and you don't have patience in the ground that you're sowing into. Yeah, man. Patience to see sudden come forth. You, you, you already missed the boat. Or patience to deal with the people that you're working with. Exactly. Because if you come across somebody that's a drunk and you ain't got patience, <laughs> she yeah. gonna keep asking me, why are you still drinking? Look, you know, hey, what, what's wrong with you? Hey, Vincent, my text Vincent said, if you don't watch out, they'll throw a whole bunch. All the churches be empty when it's printed the right letters. <laughs> uh, we will. Yeah, I know that's true, though, right? <laughs> but, but, but I think that's why you have to do it in, in an individual basis. It had to be a, 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 a case by case, and the pastor really had to be involved in that. With the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has to be involved working with the person because only who knows the condition that person's heart really is he still stony ground? Yeah, or is he is he fertile ground now? Come on you now, know, you can say the same thing to a person over a period of a couple of minutes or a couple of years and he'll receive it totally different, right? Look, we try to get somebody, <laughs> I'm sorry, we try to get somebody to change, and you don't change, get out, yeah, and of course, without time table, right. <laughs> We did no. We how much discipling we've been doing to the person, and not on that person, but everybody else in that facility. I, I think there are, there are general principles that are in place that do affect. I mean, when Jesus says a little leaven leaven is old, no, that's not a joke. That's uh, right. That's a fact. Uh, the beware the leaven of the Pharisees. That that was that was a principle. That was yeah. legitimate. Right, right. But, but to condition to understand. The condition of living that that person it is that's a that's a that's a particular or a a, a specific instance. Well, you I know, got this person, I got a better for you though. To understand the condition of everybody, you if you oversee it, all these people, you better discern the the condition of all of them in there because that's yeah. the problem. But that's that's the responsibility. That, yeah, that's it is. Why you a pastor? Yes, sir. And that's why nobody ain't called. <laughs> I, I, I think that, that when you're looking at a person, in the, in the, my short of it is you can't make a rabbit dog a pet because you will kill everything else around it. So you have to do something to separate the rabbit dogs away from the rest of the dogs 
and so the day the rest of the dog don't get rabies. Rabies, he might be your favorite pet, and chances are he didn't give himself rabies, but he still got it. So, and, but how you gonna, how you gonna deal with it becomes the issue. And so until such time as, and I think that was appropriate because you have to isolate until the healing comes. When yeah, the healing I, comes, then you can put them in the midst of the congregation again, but and yeah. it's not isolating them because you hate them. It's isolating it, them because you love them and you want them to return but you can't let them kill off the rest of the congregation while they're being, you know. Well, pro like I suffering. said, the only problem said is that if, you, if you're gonna hold a standard, you hold it for all. I agree with that. Now, can you imagine if the church was really like that and we did that, how much power there would be manifested to us? If you look, I, I imagine you have some empty churches, that's <laughs> Yeah, we would start out empty, but God, but God. <laughs> I, well, look, I, I would like the, the, this Lisa ministry and say, bring them in here, i work with them. <laughs> Cause that's all but you that, and then there is ministry for that too though, you know? No, I, this ministry is for all the ministries supposed to receive this these, these people of all different grounds of stuff. We just can't it's just be naive to think that you don't have an adulterer in there. It's no, 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 no. I, I, I think that you you legitimate in that re, that response, but I think that the motivation that that person has to be Will be spiritually taken into consideration because some people are just rebelling, man. Not well, everybody caught up. Not everybody caught up. Some people just deal with the rebel. But what and I in that state of in that state of rebellion is what's going to be. Let me say the, the, the wrath of God comes upon the children of what disobedience. Yeah. It ain't like they don't understand it. It's like they ain't gonna do it. But the, and, it's, and, it's, and, what's rebellion? There are, I have known people who came into a church with that behavior and did it for the sake of disrupting that church. Right, and I'm saying is that what is rebellion? You mean rebellion in uh, their personal life or rebellion in the congregation? A rebellion in, in their, their spirit. In the per they, 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 they themselves were of a rebellious nature, and it was their rebellion. It was against the presence of the kingdom of God. It was to confront and to thwart the efforts of Christ in the earth. The, the, uh, I guess the question says that uh, you brought them in. Well, did they change all of a sudden, or did you, did you just? No, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't bring them in. See, and uh, the ones that I spoke of didn't change. Period. But <laughs> the pastor that uh, that I was sitting under at that point took opposition to the way that they were doing things, and uh, he, he rebuked them, and they they left. But they didn't know what I caused them to do. Yeah, they came the in to establish. The, the lifestyle as a norm within that congregation and, and see what and I, the pastor and the pastor would not allow it to be so exactly what I what I will say is that the the whole purpose of what come across that pulpit uh -huh. right? and people either sitting there listening to the word or they're sitting in a form like this where when you speak you better come with the word because we're gonna come with the word with you you see what I'm saying oh yeah but if, now, if they can't come up with a word that really condones rebelling against the principles of the kingdom of God, then I guess we should follow that. No, but I had not I had not heard anything that they said that that, 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 that that presented that case. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said oh, okay. whatever people say in this form, right, is, uh, is challenged by the word. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So if you if you're in a congregation where it's the just the person speaking. The person, what's coming out of their mouth is what's like that guy was talking about that alcohol to you, right? Uh huh. He didn't make he spoke you the truth. He didn't lie. <laughs> he spoke the truth. In other words, he didn't make you feel comfortable in No, your... he didn't. Not at all. So, so you either stay, which is what you did, you left. No, I actually it. did. But yeah. I was, I was, because I was convicted about the drinking, not so much about him making me mad. It is. <laughs> To me, it's like that that evangelist, that that apostle, that that all five four minutes you give when they up there. If God got a shoe to throw out out there, he's gonna shoot. He's gonna throw that shoe, and he's gonna hit where it's supposed to hit. Legit. So, so I'm talking about if somebody's coming in and they ain't doing the rebellion that you're talking about. I'm talking about they're just sitting there, receiving the word just like you. Don't they doing that? They that's not disruptive. They just sitting there, listening to the word. That's not disruptive, right? You call that disruptive? 